Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your love reading. All right, jumping into it with an Oracle card message for Sagittarius. Two more shuffles for Sagittarius and love. The last one for my Sagittarians in love. Oh, that was a messy one, so I'm gonna do one more for Sagittarius. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, one more. There we go. All right, so let's get it going. First card is number eight, wings. You never needed those wings to fly. 29, feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. You escaped something. Number 30, castle. It's time for healing, not war. Yeah, you escaped something and now you're trying to figure out what to do next. You overcome something and you escaped, whether it's a mindset or a relationship. And number two, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Realizing you deserve better. It's all over now. You've realized that you didn't need whatever it was that you were holding on to. You escaped it. You overcame it. It's time to celebrate yourself and relax. And you know that you deserve better. I feel like you're in that place in between where you're like, you, you can't go back and you're deciding how to move forward. Number 23, confidence. It comes with time and practice. Yeah, you're realizing how to move forward with your life now that that cycle is over. It's closed. Right, let's get into a tarot for Leo. In love. Two more shuffles for my... Uh, oh, I said Leo. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. One more for Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. Sagittarius, I am so sorry if I said Leo. It is Sagittarius. <laughs> we have the Hanged Man, Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the universe, which is the world. Like I said, completely closing out cycle. I felt that. And then the Two of Wands, how to move forward. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. This is an ending to a cycle of backstabbing and betrayal. A death and rebirth. The old way, the old life, the old you. Done. Gone. And you're building up that confidence, a new you. So with the hanged one, the hanged man, is seeing both sides to a situation and gaining enlightenment. Which is good to clarify wings. You never needed those wings to fly. You never needed that person, place, thing, mentality, mindset, or whatever you thought you needed to excel and succeed in life or to free yourself. You didn't. You realized all you needed was to believe in yourself, which sounds corny, but that's usually the case. Most things that are so cliche that you're tired of hearing are usually exactly what we need. When we have our spiritual awakenings or epiphanies or realizations, we all it's always the simplest advice that we heard a million times from well, from my experience, that's how it is, that are like the the holy grail of what we need to hear at the time. Feast, slowing down and celebrating yourself with the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, look how she's sitting peacefully, stably, calmly. Whether you're a male, female, non binary, masculine is the one taking action, feminine is receiving. You are receiving because you've already taken the action. So, right now, it's time for you to relax, celebrate yourself, love yourself, have peace. And then, right after that, for double clarification, it's time for healing, not war clarified by the world card complete closing of a cycle it's done it's over and it's also a major accomplishment so congratulations the universe is always closing of a cycle permanently and major accomplishment you overcame something you released a crutch that you thought you needed and now you, all you realize that you need is yourself it was always within you you never needed anyone or anything else to get where you wanted to go so now it's time to celebrate yourself and you sometimes when you're so used to a situation whether it's toxic or not you always feel like when you're out of it you feel weird like was this the right thing to do was it this was it that was i overreacting blah 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 but this card is letting you know evil queen you deserve sugar not salt you deserve sweet things you deserve nice things you deserve what you asked for and not them giving you the wrong thing that's like you ordering salt I mean, you ordering sugar and they give you salt. No, that's not what I wanted. And that's also not really nice. They tried to trick you on purpose. 
and with the two of wands you're deciding whether you move go back or move forward you can't go back that cycle is done so the only choice you have is to move forward and any cycle of backstabbing betrayal pain confusion that's all done it's closed and you have an abundance of options and you feel nervous because you don't feel like you're confident enough or you don't feel like you have what it takes to get to where you want to go but confidence comes with time and practice confidence doesn't come before you go somewhere usually the situation arises and you have to learn and gain that confidence through it you don't get confident and then go out there and get it done you become confident through the experience you don't learn how to do things before they happen you learn it on the way that's what we call a journey life experience and sometimes we forget that sometimes we're like when i lose this amount of weight or when i get this certain type of job then i'll do this then i'll do that no you usually learn through experience which is the best because that's something no one can take away from you all right clarify this for my sagittarians clarify this message for my sagittarians two more shots for sagittarius and last one wow i gave y'all some real tea best advice i've given in the past week to any sign i feel that was deep even though like the deepest advice is usually the most simple though and that's why we so easily overlook it because we heard it a thousand times clarifying the hanged man is seven of cups and what i was saying was confusion also a lot of options you're no longer confused you felt like you felt like you had this one option and you can only do things one way but you're realizing again you never needed whatever it was to excel in life you're seeing things from another perspective you're not you have many options you may have felt like you had no other way of doing it without this person place or thing but you're realizing you have abundance of options many other choices many ways to think you see all those cards on the table many options with the seven of cur curses is the seven of cups you got a lot of options, pretty much. And then the Five of Swords, backstabbing, betrayal, trying to hurt someone on purpose, trying to win at all costs. You felt like that's the way, maybe someone taught you that that was the way to win. Like you had to say things to hurt others. You had to take others down in order for you to succeed, uh, succeed but that's not the case. I feel like someone tried to teach you that or you thought that from childhood, but you're realizing that's not how you have to do things to win. You don't have to be mean and nasty or hurt others for you to exceed or succeed in life. Also, you don't have to be with someone who treats you like this. Or you're realizing that this behavior isn't normal. Because the Five of Swords is trying to win at all costs, even if it hurts yourself and others. And this is also someone purposely trying to hurt someone. You're realizing that you're above that now. You don't need to deal with someone who's like that. And you don't need to implement that type of strategy for those of you. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. But long story short, no one needs to be hurt in order for someone else to be happy clarifying the queen of pentacles is the queen of pentacles wow okay so that's a double here so you're definitely dealing with an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn you have earth in your chart but the queen of pentacles is someone who's very peaceful very stable very grounded very independent and dependable and that is who you are becoming very confident i mean they're both just sitting there calmly and even here with feast slow down and celebrate yourself you're very calm and the queen of pentacles is abundant and all those fruits around her in this picture. Very abundant. All the vegetation in this one. Just very at peace, very independent and making things grow around you. And then we have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow. That is very strange. You could be dealing with an earth sign and a water sign. But these signs can also be within you attracting that type of stable energy i feel like these are all aspects of you Whew. sorry sagittarius hmm. but i feel like these are all aspects of you or people around you who tried to bring you up to be you know emotionally manipulated verbally manipulative or abusive to get what you wanted you're learning that that's not the case you don't need to do that or be around people that are like that and you're just becoming very loving very open very intuitive trusting yourself and standing up for yourself becoming more independent clarifying the world card is the king of cups 
So you could have had water sign parents or just this water sign couple in life that you decided some of you are cutting your parents off and keeping them out of your life. Sometimes parents can be so toxic that they do more harm than good in certain people's lives and no one should judge anyone for cutting them off. Maybe you thought you needed these people in your life, whether they're parent, friend, family member, whatever. You thought you needed this these people in your life and you're realizing you don't. And so you're done arguing with them. You're done fighting with them. You're done trying to prove yourself to them. You're just moving on and closing the cycle on them. Yep. Six of swords, letting go, moving to calmer waters. You're cutting these people out of your life because you're realizing they do more harm than good. Clarifying the two of wands is the six of pentacles. Equal give and take. That's what you're going towards. You're realizing that this they just threw you to the wolves here, used you as a sacrifice. And you're like, not anymore. You're going towards a more loving, stable environment, even, even if that means you have to do it alone. And then the chariot, right after I say that, you're literally leaving, moving towards a more stable environment, stable work um, environment, home environment, friendship environment, whatever it is, gym class. <laughs> Um, aerobics I feel like for some of his hobbies it's just an environment that's more supportive and loving equal give and take the chariot is also cancer the uh, tarot sign I mean ugh, zodiac sign cancer but this is moving forward rapidly in victory and success and that is what you're choosing to do moving towards the right direction and overall energy is the two of pentacles balance equal give and take so you're leaving behind a toxic environment toxic partner toxic people for better you better life and building up your own confidence and seeing your work seeing yourself for who you truly are and what you can be with or without them all right that's beautiful if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And if you'd like to book a personal, that information is below. And if you would like to view or purchase my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry and rings and necklaces and earrings, all that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Sagittarius. Namaste.